rare total lunar eclipse is taking shape for tomorrow night. ABC4's meteorologist Nate Larson spoke with some astronomy professors to tell us more. A total lunar eclipse will occur about once a year and is when the sun, earth, and moon come into alignment. Usually we, we just get a full moon, but if we get the alignment just right, then the sun's rays get blocked by the earth, and instead of seeing the full moon, or instead of illuminating the full moon, we get to cast shadow on it. This month's full moon is the worm moon. What's kind of exciting about these is even though uh, you, you don't set your watch by them, but they're totally predictable. Um, we know when they're going to happen for the next, the next decade, the next century. The total lunar eclipse takes place when the moon passes through the Earth's shadow called the umbra. I think the exciting part is that you get to see the, the shadow of the Earth actually crawl its way across the moon. So you get to see this kind of, it looks like something's biting a piece of the moon out as that drifts across. It's fun to see because you actually get a sense of the planet you're on. So the Earth's shadow is a round thing, uh, which shows us that the Earth is round. And we've known this for thousands of years, even before we launched anything around the, around the Earth. And you get to see that actually, actually happening. And it's all visible with the naked eye. It's going to be at night. Um, unlike a solar eclipse, it doesn't require any special viewing, uh, no special protection. Um, you just have to be up and you have to have good weather. With the storm rolling in, it will likely be hard to spot the lunar eclipse, but if you're up and happen to have some clearer skies, the entirety of the moon will be in the Earth's shadow or totality shortly after midnight. And that's when the moon will appear red or be a blood moon. For ABC4 News, I'm meteorologist Nate Larson.